<sighs> Let's go. To the boat. What? Ah. Hey guys, Lexan20 again. Um, sorry about that previous one. The game crashed on me just a second ago. I don't know why. I just went blah and died. So, just like that. Blah and everything. And then died. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to uh, do what I can about this. I can't loot that guy's body, evidently. Ooh, but there is a shield here I can take. Okay, that shield. I'm going to equip the shield at the same time as that sword. So this guy's got a boat. I don't see your boat. But he says he's got one. So we'll follow him because he's got a boat. He's got a boat. Yeah. It's a small boat. Use the boat. Use the boat. Use el bote. El bolito. No, bolito's not boat. Wow, leg spikes. It's... I don't know, I choked them not drafting into the army. That was terrible. As if we didn't have to deal, have enough to deal with the full-scale war on our hands. What's going on with the camera? Shouldn't somebody be steering the boat? Especially because we're, you know, about to crash into rocks, but no, uh, evidently nobody steers the boat. The boat just steers itself. I am magic and steer, steer the boat through my awesomeness, and we crashed, and oh god, there goes the boat. <laughs> the boat sank. <laughs> the boat has sank. And now it's back. <laughs> the boat is back. We go our separate ways now. Take care. Indeed, good sir. Here goes some running soldiers. Wait, is this the Abbey? This whole building is the Abbey. Ah. Ah. Can't jump over that rock. Whole building. This is the Abbey. Trin Abbey Fort. Oh, whoa, no, that's the Abbey. <laughs> this one, I'm just blind, evidently. Travel merchant at your disposal. What would you like? <clears throat> I'm good. Leak. Teleport room. Only figure out how to use those stupid teleport runes, so it'll be good. Here, I'll sell you a bronze amulet. And... some soap. And some more soap. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, have some soap. Goodbye. Said I wanted to buy anything. God. Whoa. Okay. Goodbye. My ch Really? So I can 
put stuff in here and I will be able to find it again later. Really? Neato. Let's put a war axe in there. And this ore in there. Yeah, we'll get put that in there too. Um, I don't know how to use these runes, so we'll just hold on to them for now. Let's, uh, let's put that on. Now let's put on this sword. Flame. Enchant item. So, flame is now enchanted. I now have a flaming sword. Woo. A flaming iron sword. Read the notice. Really, so that's all that it says on here, but look at how long that notice is. That's at least three full paragraphs. For three sentences, two sentences. How long is that? Two sentences? Three sentences. Well, two sentences in name. The unnamed pilgrim. But so three sentences. These are apparently really, really big sentences. Right behind you, old man. Stuttering along at sometimes nine frames a second. So just because Fraps is recording, Fraps takes up so much power, it's ridiculous. If you could do it in one clean shot, why am I doing it? Oh god, it's getting out half without part of his ear again. Locked. And this is just leading back up. No. 
as we see, we stumble across the warehouse with all the goblins. Well, there's no goblins that I can see anyways, but you get the point. We walk past the unlit candles, because goblins don't need the light to see. And we follow the very linear pathways to the rats that we will light on fire. And envelop in balls of flame. Because that's what rats deserve, to be enveloped in balls of flames. Balls of balls and balls of flames. I'm not sure what I'm shooting at, but I'm assuming that it's right there, so... Too low. Oh, I hit it. Good clean shot. Well, two shots, but same diff. Required XP for leveling. I've got a couple more points to level. Oh dear. Somehow he found me. Only a matter of time before the fire took hold. So you starting to hit E to do everything. Too much fallout. As we creep through the mine, the torch is flickering off the wall. I don't have a main story to go with this. I'm just gonna make things up as we go. Our hero descends further into the darkness and the fire. Braving the dark, looking for a, a, apparently a place where I put an explosive device. I don't. How did they make explosives at this time? I doubt that they had gunpowder. There's a bunch of goblins in that part of the mine. So our hero sneaks back. The goblins, unaware of his presence, except that he's casting magic spells in the light of the cave. But the goblins are. Unaware of his presence, he slowly creeps back to the, towards the, his friend Eric, who's dealing with the dam outside. He runs. The goblins have heard him. Up the cave. Out the door. The explosive's ticking behind him. He runs into a wall because he can't see where the hell he's going. Up the stairs. Up the ramp. Up the other ramp. Back out the weird folded hatch valley door thing to his friend who's standing in waist high water. And who's doing nothing? The, the hell are you doing? Oh. And then he gets back and realizes that he didn't activate the explosive. So now he has to trek back through the darkness and despair, the madness, the pain. Back into the horrid halls of the goblins and their kings. The halls of the dead. Back through the fire and the blood that he himself had caused. Longing only to be gone. To bay back in the sunlight. To meet his friends standing in the waist high water. He must set the explosive and run. The explosive's in a very little barrel. He has to get to cover. He runs. The explosive's ticking behind him. He runs faster. It blew. The explosive is gone. His world shakes as the explosive rings in his head. He cannot hear as the power rings in his ear. He runs, knowing the goblins will only be second behind him, the ones that survived the explosion. Back, up, out of the madness. Out of the madness, again into that wall that he couldn't see. 
back through the wood that looks more like metal. Up the rack, up the other rack, out the hatch into his friend in the voice high water, who's still in the voice high water, who still says absolutely nothing more than this shouldn't be difficult. What the hell? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Why did the explosives not work? Maybe I need to go and check. <sighs> Realizing the error of his fall. Well, realizing his folly and his error, he walks back into the mine. Slow. Not triumph. Well, it's kind of fast. But he knows that he must check his work to make sure. He knows he must check his work to make sure that the explosives have worked. He goes in and finds one lone goblin. Alone, a survivor. He swings at the goblin, lights its face on fire. That goblin survived somehow, and now it is dead. The last of its kind has been eliminated from this mind. Genocide has been completed. A hero realizes that he created genocide and decides to slowly trek back out of the cave. Only he doesn't walk very slow, he kind of runs everywhere. But he walks, running, sort of walking, running, out of the cave, back up to his friend who's possibly still waiting in the water. Realizing that again he needs to pay attention to where he's going and stop hitting that goddamn wall. Back up the ramps, back up the ramps, up through the hatch. And this time it decides it wants to load. To his friend, who is still standing in the waste high water. And his friend has taught him some skill with the bow. And that's all. Our hero's journey will continue next time with something else. So, stay tuned. Little donkey.